Is your wife on? Well, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Jason Cisco back again. Prayer Nation, we've been praying here in Washington, D.C., and we were just by the White House, and I just felt so impressed to just keep walking. I wanted to do a complete perimeter. There are so many fences up, you cannot even get around all the government buildings. But it's led me here to the Washington Monument, and I felt so impressed on this day that we should be praying here by this monument. We're gonna go walk over here. I'm gonna show you. Um, now, we know this is the Washington Monument and this is oftentimes uh, obscuring what this really is. Uh, this is an obelisk. Uh, obelisks were used uh, to be able to uh, measure uh, the sun. It was a Oftentimes, you will see it in ancient uh, ancient cities. They would have these, and they were they were dual purposes. They had a purpose of uh, telling time, which uh, was shadows were cast by uh, the direction that it was pointing with the uh, various times that the sun would move. It would cast a shadow, and you could tell uh, by the shape of it uh, what time it was. But there was also a, a worship aspect to this, a pagan uh, worship aspect uh, to these things. And so as much as we love the fact that we are called a Christian nation, there are a lot of uh, other things that are going on in this nation under the guise of freedom. And uh, so freedom is defined uh, through the lens by which you view it. Uh, so... Uh, we are thankful for the freedom that we have as Christians and uh, to worship God, etc. We're thankful for all that uh, it means of not being in oppression and uh, not being under tyranny or under uh, dictatorships, etc. But uh, there's also, when you open up that door, uh, it also opens up the door for many other things as well. So we have to see all the things that are involved with this. But I feel uh, to go over here on this day, this is summer uh, solstice day. And it's one of the biggest pagan holidays uh, on the calendar because the sun is at its highest, the light lasts the longest today. And so it's officially launching summer. Uh, and it is uh, for the pagans, a, a, a type of death and birth and, um, or rebirth, life, death, and rebirth. And so it's the very, uh, it's the very language that we use with death, burial, and resurrection. Uh, and, and yes, of course, that's very true. The complete design of Washington, D.C. is there is so much symbolism. And uh, what the Lord told me as I've been walking here is that all of these symbols and all of these statues and all of these different things create gateways and why the spirit world is so active right now and my brother who's walking with me uh is he said about every two or three uh minutes he has to just start speaking in tongues because he can just feel demonic things around him i'm, I'm just putting a picture on this we're, as we're getting closer to this um, and i just feel like today i would like us to reverse Whew, hallelujah. I want us to reverse the effects of what this represents in this nation, what this represents in the world, what it represents from ancient times. Hallelujah. So I speak to you, O obelisk. And I say, though you be tall and though you point up to the sun, yet there is one that is greater and higher than you. There is the sun of righteousness, which shall arise in our hearts, the true light that lights the light of every man. And you would have no existence without him. You would have nothing to celebrate or point to and there would be nothing for you to symbolize if it were not for Jesus Christ himself and so he made that sun we will not worship the sun nor the moon nor the stars for they are but the they are but the handiwork of God I'm going to walk up to this thing now 
and we're going to put our hands on it and we're going to pray together. People are just out here. It's such a beautiful day. Sunshine. But uh, we're walking a perimeter here. And I know that some of the walking is probably not very significant and might seem a little boring to some. Uh, so I didn't want to just uh, keep the, the live feed on from the last, but I felt to put it back on again as we get a little closer here to this. I want to just stand by this and its immensity and what it means. And then we are going to just pray it again. So I just thank you for joining us, everybody that just jumped in. And uh, if you just want to tag along with us while we're praying, we're just doing another prayer walk. We're going to walk the entire uh, government uh, buildings here tonight. And uh, we're, we're just letting the Holy Spirit lead us. So uh, here we go, walking up to, uh, walking up to this, this big obelisk here. I'm going to flip it around so you don't see me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's people everywhere out here enjoying the green. Okay. Because we get closer to it, you can't even see it in the camera. It's just so it's just so massive. You can see all these government buildings and there you go now from this direction we can see the white house again uh, in the far distance so we're walking a full perimeter they had so many fences that until you get to the road down here you could not even you couldn't cut over in any of that back green uh, behind the white house so we're doing a big circle around it there but I really wanted to come over here and pray as well and uh, see all of this uh, from a different perspective. All right, we're gonna climb up here. Here we go. So I'm sorry if the camera's a little shaky or whatever. We are moving as quick as we can to get here to this spot. We're gonna lay, put our hands on this wall and uh, we're going to touch it in Jesus name. We're going to just speak life and clarity and direction. And we're going to pray that God will take over this monument. He'll have no other graven images, no other gods before, before me. That's what he says. So we're just going to pray that somehow uh, the true meaning of what this day is, what it represents. I know monuments were built Monuments like this were built uh, in ancient times uh, for the summer solstice, the winter solstice, the, the Verna equinox. So the four times of the year, the two equinoxes and the two solstices. Solstice actually means for the sun to be still. And it means it's at its height or at its highest point where it appears to be still. So, I've been calling my broadcast. The beginning was high noon. Wow. So, when the sun is at its height, you can just see the immensity of it, how big it is when you uh, get this close to it. Now, I'm going to go straight up now. So, I'm touching this corner. Go straight up. Wow. Wow. wow, in the name of Jesus, my God, hallelujah, and there you go, there's the, there's the National Mall from there, wow, I'm going to walk all the way around this thing, thank you Jesus.
just it's just designed it's designed as a reminder of just uh, how small uh, it's designed to be a reminder of how small we, we all are in the presence of such height wow but it also reminds me of the ziggurat of the days of Nimrod that sought to exclude God it was evil it was only evil Touch this wall again. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. There. Wow, there it is, folks. God, you can feel the Holy Ghost. Can you feel the Holy Ghost? My God. Whew. How intense. Wow. Well, we're going to continue while walking. My God. Mm. I'm just collecting. I'm just collecting um, impressions and things that God is kind of directing us to do. Um, as we're kind of walking the sun's hitting me so we're going to just keep walking here just a little bit longer if you want to stay with this a little bit more but wow wow thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus in your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, we're going to walk a full perimeter back around to uh, Liberty Square where we were. And uh, I feel one of the interesting things is that uh, there's so much. Um, just happening everywhere that even though we have been speaking in tongues and praying um, nobody's really said anything or thought anything everyone's sort of in their own little bubble and it's just allowing us to just to continue to pray I know that so many people have prayed for this land prayed for this space here but there is a constant you can feel it uh, by the massive perimeter it's a massive pentagram uh, and you can feel that we're in the middle of a massive gateway here. Uh, it's a massive gateway in the spirit that's here. It's it's a uh, brother Barnes always said that this is one of the one of the seats of Satan was here. It's one of the four. Uh, executing branches of the highest order of Satanism it functions and operates but that doesn't mean that we cannot have the highest order of the Holy Spirit here now you know what I have been teaching is that everything that is manifesting in the valley is manifesting in the valley because of what is already being manifested in the spirit. So if there are antichrist spirits in the world, it's because the spirit of Christ has been revealed to us in an extraordinary way. In order to defeat the antichrist system and that Christ spirit, it takes the highest level of spiritual insight of who Jesus is. So it's very important for those who have the revelation of Jesus Christ to know how to pray and pray effectively and wield that not as a doctrinal tool only 
but to use it as a principle for spiritual warfare. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So we are here to declare again, to walk these streets of DC. That is way down that direction. All the, when you go to the top, you'll see uh, the, the National Mall and then all of the monuments are that direction. So we're guiding people <laughs> as we're on. We're just stopping and asking those questions or trying to help. Oh, God, we pray, Lord, that we can help even more, that we can bring even more direction, God, to our nation. We can bring more direction to this generation, and we can help more people. Oh, God, find the way, Lord. So we are setting a perimeter. We are walking and pleading the blood of Jesus right now. We're walking and pleading the blood of Jesus right now. You can see these massive buildings. This is all of our government buildings here. Congress and Senate buildings and uh, Supreme Court and all of these buildings in a row down here. It's just uh, extraordinary. It's extraordinary. But we know that there's a kingdom which we have received, which cannot be moved kingdom which we have received that cannot be shaken. So many cars, is everybody moving? It's rows and rows and rows here in Washington, D.C. on the longest day of the year, here June 21st. And we are just praying, standing in the gap, making up the hedge, reversing the enemy's weapons, reversing his strategies, and praying over all of these government buildings and setting a perimeter around the White House. There were so, like I said earlier, there were so many fences. Um, and then when I saw the, the obelisk, I just had to come. I know we call it the Washington Monument, but it's really an obelisk. And they'll say, they'll say that as well, but I just, felt we were supposed to go and lay our hands on it wow and pray over it now we've got uh, the right of way to walk here so we're going to just keep moving together here in jesus name you, prayer nation you know that um there's been many times when i've done prayer walks in my neighborhood uh this is another level prayer walk here <laughs> oh. it's all kinds of sounds and So, Lord, we set a perimeter. We plead the blood of Jesus. We reverse the enemy's weapons, Lord. We pray the light of God will shine. Now, there's all kinds of cars over there, but they had to have an appointment or a pass to get in. So. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, God. We set a perimeter, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus. We walk on it. We walk in it. We, we declare the revelation of Jesus Christ. We speak that you are the light. You are the light of the world. Hallelujah, Jesus. People of every nation, every tribe, and every tongue, Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. <laughs> Folks, I can feel the Holy Ghost right now. We can just feel the anointing of God as we're setting a perimeter, as we're pleading the blood of Jesus. Uh, they've got their gates up everywhere, their fences up everywhere but nothing is gonna stop the power of the Holy Spirit. We're declaring in Jesus' name, the angels of the Lord are being dispatched 
with mighty battering rams to bash down the walls, to destroy the pagan roots. The dragons, the, just, the dragons are destroyed in Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you all for just joining with us today as we are just walking in Washington, D.C. And uh, we just left the Washington Monument. We had a view of the National Mall just from a long distance. Uh, but uh, now we're just walking on the other side of the road on the way back towards the White House. I wanted to do a complete circle around the White House. It ends up being like a big rectangle. <laughs> but it brings us on other uh, territory that needs prayer as well. Uh, so all of this is our government building. So we're just pleading the blood of Jesus today. And we're, we're walking in this, in this symbolic time uh, as the sun is, is the highest today as any other day. There's more light. May it be in the name of Jesus that there would be more light that would shine in the world than ever before. That today, Lord Jesus, that you would shine with the full brightness of your glory and of your presence. Oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now we're coming to the other side now. Magnificent buildings that have been built here. And if man could build this, what is the kingdom of God like? What is heaven going to be like? What is New Jerusalem going to be like? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. Plead the blood as we walk on these stones, as we walk on this pavement right here. We claim it for the name of Jesus. We claim it for the blood of Jesus. We claim it for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We claim it for every promise that God has given to us. All right, now we're coming to the other side of the uh, White House complex and uh, we were off camera when we walked by it on the other side but uh, it's the same thing both ways right here big guard houses and as you would expect but this is uh, here we are here we are seeing uh, some more of our government buildings on either side of the White House thank you Lord Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God. Bless the name of Jesus. The beautiful trees. Yes, Lord. Let the spirit of truth be released, O oh God, in the earth. Let the spirit of truth, Lord. Oh God, let a river flow, Lord Jesus. Let a river flow, God. Let a river flow, God. Let a river flow. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, oh God. As it gets later in the day, you can see more people are off work and coming out to the parks and enjoying the beautiful weather. And we're feeling the presence of God. We're out praying in the open. And the Bible says that Elisha prayed earnestly. And as I said yesterday, the word earnest, the word earnest means to pray in the open. That Elijah prayed earnestly that it would not rain. When we looked it up in the Greek, earnest means to pray in the open. This is what we're doing right now. We're praying earnestly. We're praying earnestly. He prayed physically for rain. And I know there's some drought, but we need something more than physical rain right now in the United States. We need some Holy Ghost rain. So we're walking. We're walking around these buildings and praying a perimeter, but we're doing it earnestly. We're praying in earnest right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining with us. I sort of feel like the disciples who showed Jesus the, the buildings of the temple and said 40 and 6 years it took Herod to build it 
And Jesus said, you see all this? There's not going to be one stone left upon another. You see all this? There'll be nothing left of it when it's all done. But we have to pray the prayer of faith. We have to pray for mercy, for mercy to be poured out before the judgment. We have to pray for forgiveness and repentance. Here we are at the Department of the Treasury right here. And Well, there's a lot of stuff happening, a lot of noise out here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We're getting almost back to Liberty Park. We've almost done the full circle that we came to pray for tonight. And thank you for joining with us, Prayer Nation. We're going to be on a little bit later tonight. And I'll be back in my boring hotel room with not a lot of pretty sights. But we're going to kind of talk a little bit more about what the Lord is speaking, what he's saying. And going to pray some more specific prayers but my brother you can feel the holy ghost out here Amen. just walking in these streets you can feel a bunch of other spirits too <laughs> you can feel a lot of things out here but um, and of course people of every nation every tribe is out here so Jesus name thank you Jesus we plead the blood of Jesus we plead the blood of Jesus thank you Lord right now God thank you Lord right now in Jesus name Jesus name I guess we can't get through over here either huh Wow. So we're having to go way around, huh? Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, folks. Wow. You can see all the construction that's going on. Kind of hard to see. There you go. Massive construction going on. There's people walking everywhere. All these old ancient buildings, these old ancient foundations. And this is what we pray in Jesus' name. God will help us to rebuild. Rebuild the foundations. Rebuild the walls. Rebuild, oh God. Restore, oh God. Renew, oh God. As we see the symbols, the symbols. Everything that's big requires big machinery, big equipment. So we're praying for this to be a symbol for our faith. That no matter how big the job is, there's a tool that's big enough to do it. And so this is our prayer today. Wow. Wow. Look at that thing. That's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And there has to be protection, you know, when we're, while, while we're building. Even structures that would be nice in other territory like this. This is nice wood. It's just here temporarily until the job is done. God's going to build whatever structure we need to help us. You see the restoration happen. You see the renewal happen. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're walking a full perimeter, folks, and there's so many, <laughs> there's so much construction and so many walls and so many things happening everywhere. You just keep walking. You just got to keep plowing through it. You can this. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And here we are, guys. We've, we've walked a full perimeter now. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Since we were here. Look at this. Wow. Since we were here. Look at that. They have taped this off. So we got to walk wow. through this today. What in the world? And they taped it all off. Everybody's out. Isn't that amazing? So we walked a full perimeter right here. Now there's police officers walking all around here. <laughs> wow, with bikes everywhere. Oh my goodness, is that crazy? We saw an angel before they freaked out. Woo! Man. Wow, that is crazy. What if we would have been here too late, we would not have been able to walk there. We would not have been able to pray there. Wow. Look at everybody over here. And so there's all kinds of stuff happening over here. I don't know what this is. Wow. Not sure what this is. Everybody's lining up over here. I guess they're just coming over here to take pictures because we can't go in. I guess that's what it is. Wow. Okay. All right, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's turn around here. All right, guys. Well, thank you for being on our prayer walk with us tonight. And we've walked the full perimeter, prayed a lot of stuff. Thank you for joining us. It was uh, quite a journey today. And as uh, I just showed you a second ago, we don't know why, but the police have completely shut down Lafayette Park, but we just were. So we had access uh, and were able to pray there earlier today. So it just shows the timing of God. If I would have come a little bit later, it would not have happened. It just gives me encouragement that I'm being led of the Holy Spirit. And it's encouraging to know that you all were praying with me. So let's, let's keep going in Jesus' name. We love you. We'll see you later tonight.